Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a little video for Bond, Mr. Popularity Contest. Uh, he just picked up a set of uh, these dual Cadrons or Cadrons or however the hell you want to pronounce it. Dual Solexes. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be going over these, uh, how I set them up personally. So, once your intake and carbs are already bolted down, I would personally leave the linkage unhooked going from carburetor to carburetor. That way you can set this thing up properly. Um, at least have one side unhooked. That way the spring that returns the throttle linkage or pulls it back is keeping the one side closed because I don't feel any any spring on this so it might be kind of a bitch to, to keep them closed. But either way, um, basically you want your throttle to be open a little bit, so you could kind of do the same thing I did with the uh, with the uh, Webers and have them closed and then open them up a few turns or just leave them how they are and see if it'll start at that. Your idle mixture screw, those, um, a good rule of thumb is two turns out. And it has been a long time since I've uh, messed with these. Man, look how nasty these suckers are. It must have been leaking something, I don't even know. But I guess that's being on a dirt road too. So here's your idle mixture screw. A lot of the time you bottom these lightly out. You don't want to sit there and crank them down. Turn them out, two full turns will usually be good enough to get it to start. So once you get it to fire up, let me find, here it is. So this is what I ended up making ghetto fab but gets the job done so to use one of these synchrometers you have to take off your air cleaner mount and the air cleaner base and then this is just the bottom of a uh, paper coffee cup and it fit right over the end of it after I had it trimmed and you can see I just cut it and then this part would fit inside and I ended up putting tape on there just to get a little bit better of a seal. It's not perfect by any means, but it would get you close enough. The other way that you can synchronize your carburetors is by putting a piece of fuel line or a heater hose or whatever right down into the throat of the carburetor while it's running. And then you put the other end up to your ear and it's gonna make obviously a sound of it sucking air and fuel in and you want both sides to sound the same. And you would basically just adjust your your throttle stop, and then that would get it to uh, to sound correct on both sides. You want to go off your engine RPM and uh, make sure it's not idling too low or too high. And uh, once you get your carbs both running the same throttle position, so they're synced, uh, you can go ahead and uh, use your idle mixture screws now a lot of the time once it's running I will slowly like very slowly screw this in sometimes I'll even turn it in eighth of a turn at a time let it sit for at least 10 seconds see what it does um, if it starts to stumble and run a slower rpm you know that it's going too lean so then you want to back it out slowly again until it runs smooth and then you slowly turn that sucker in and once it starts to stumble I back it out another quarter turn to a half turn so it's a little bit uh, richer than when it's lean and stumbling and that's your idle mixture screw I do that to both sides and then uh, double check that the synchronization is the same once you're happy with that then you set up your throttle linkage and let's see here I believe you have the the same linkage at least it looked like in the picture as this there was a uh, original cadron linkage and then this is the style they come up with but you pretty much had it set up whoops, correctly uh, from what I could tell this part hooks up to your throttle cable this would go to the see some are different some have a stud in the middle that, that connects to and like this one has this straight rod that goes through and this had a longer bolt that would go through both 
heim joints and then that would screw into there with the nut and then this side would screw into that part of the carburetor with the nut on the back and I'm wanting to say that this spring on mine at least came back to this somewhere I should be able to remember because I just took it off but obviously I can't but anyways um, yeah so when you get these to open and close you can see how they have a, a little grub screw there on the heim joint on both ends you adjust it so that way when uh, you barely crack the throttle you want both of these opening at the exact same time and that's uh, that's pretty much how you go go across these and you can get uh, more in depth obviously with jetting and then uh, float level and all that stuff but just to get it running and to get it uh, styled and dialed it's pretty much it and then you got your uh, balance tubes that go from one side of the motor to the other and uh, look like you had the aluminum intakes as well so you should have something very similar to that um, I've ran Cadrons or Cadrons however you want to pronounce it in the past without a balance tube uh, sometimes it makes it run a little bit smoother sometimes not but yeah that's about it so for all you guys that haven't uh, gone out there and checked out popularity contest page be uh, be sure to do so because he's got some good uh, good content and a badass Herbie so yeah feel free to go check them out and then uh, the only other thing I can think of on these is that air cleaner those two Phillips screws that are underneath that need to be removed to use that synchronizer tool if you're just using uh, the hose method you don't have to take anything besides the air cleaner top off but yeah these are a, a good running little carburetor so these are actually from what I remember designed for Volkswagens themselves so not often you get a company manufacturing carburetors for one type of vehicle man those things are nasty unbelievable so that's about it so thanks again for everybody watching and subbing and bond hopefully this helps out if you got any other questions you know uh you know where to hit me up on so thanks again everybody for uh watching and we'll catch you guys on the flip side